Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at advanced persistent threats, also known as APTs. An APT is a term given to a threat actor who uses advanced tools and techniques to remain undetected for long periods of time, hence the name advanced persistent threat threat. Now the key difference between an APT and other threat actors is the level of effort involved in the planning, preparing and executing of the attack. These attacks can take weeks, months or even years. APTs are usually nation state groups with very specific targets and goals. For example, disturbing a city's power supply or stealing top secret information. However, the term APT is also used to refer to some of the more advanced and sophisticated non-nation state actors as well. As with most things, it's easier to understand with some examples. So let's take a look at some real world APTs. But before we do that, it is important to know that there really isn't any kind of industry standardization for naming these APT groups. As I've mentioned before, different security intelligent companies will use different naming conventions. So with that in mind, let's look at our first APT. APT28, also known as Fancy Bear, Pornstorm and other names. We took a brief look at this group in the nation state video, but as a quick reminder, this is a notorious group that has been active since the mid 2000s and is believed to be linked to the Russian GRU. They target government, military and other high value targets around the world. Their motives have varied, but they seem very consistent with the interest of the Russian state. One example of an attack this group is allegedly involved in is the 2016 US presidential election hack. The hackers stole and leaked thousands of emails and documents related to the Hillary Clinton campaign. Another APT example is APT41, also known as Wicked Panda, Double Dragon and Winty. This group is suspected to be sponsored by the Chinese government. Their espionage activity has targeted healthcare, telecommunications and technology businesses around the world. The FBI have issued arrest warrants for five individuals linked to this group. They are believed to be responsible for a hack on TeamViewer, a popular remote access tool. What makes this group interesting though is that aside from their state-sponsored espionage, they also seem to have a financially focused side hustle targeting the gaming industry. Attacks on virtual currency and ransomware attempts all seem to be self-beneficial for the group rather than in the interest of the Chinese government. Fin7, also known as Carbon Spider, Elbrus or Sangria Tempest, is a Russian criminal hacking group. They initially targeted hospitality, restaurants and retail companies using specially crafted phishing emails to gain initial access. Once they compromise a target, the group uses malware and other techniques to maintain persistence, exfiltrate data and move laterally across the network. Later, the group expanded into large value ransomware attacks. Now, an interesting tactic that Fin7 is known to use is called a bad USB. They would send a physical USB drive to their target and include a convincing note designed to get the user to insert the USB into one of the computers. One of these bad USBs was sent with a fake gift card from Best Buy. The note explained that the list of available items was on the provided USB. But this is not a regular USB drive. Once a bad USB is plugged in, it emulates other types of devices such as keyboards, which can then be used to automatically run malicious commands on the victim's computer. Three Ukrainian nationals have been arrested and convicted in connection with Fin7. However, the group still remains as active as ever. This video is part of our Security Plus in 31 Days course. If you like this video, you are gonna love the full course. Not only does it cover each exam topic in simple and easy to understand videos, but it also provides hands-on labs. These labs guide you through practical tasks like creating Trojans, cracking passwords and sending your own phishing emails, giving you real world experience and making your studies that much more engaging and effective. It doesn't stop there though. You also get a copy of our Security Plus in 31 Days ebook which follows the course and covers each topic. You'll also get access to helpful downloads to support your learning, a private community where you can connect with fellow learners and exclusive discounts. It really is the complete package to guide you through your Security Plus journey. 
Check it out in the description below. So there we have it, APTs, a term used to describe advanced attackers who often go undetected for long periods of time, usually linked to nation state actors, but that's not always the case. Let's end with a couple of quiz questions. Question one, what is the key characteristic that differentiates an advanced persistent threat from other types of cyber threats? Is it A, APTs only target financial institutions? Is it B, APTs use advanced tools and techniques to remain undetected for long periods? Is it C, APTs rely solely on physical attacks? Or is it D, APTs primarily focus on quick attacks for immediate gains? The answer is B. APTs use advanced tools and techniques to remain undetected for long periods. APTs are known for their advanced techniques and their ability to stay hidden within a system for extended periods, unlike other attackers who may focus on the short term or immediate impact. Okay, so question two. Which of the following is not typically a goal of an APT? A. Stealing top secret information. B. Disturbing critical infrastructure. C gaining immediate financial gain, or D, influencing political events. The answer is C, gaining immediate financial gain. APTs are usually focused on the long-term strategic goal, such as stealing sensitive information, disturbing key infrastructure, or influencing political outcomes, rather than the quick financial gains. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. The support from you guys really helps this channel grow. Other than that, thank you for watching.